Stay Night, as a visual novel, had several routes the player could take through the game. Now, the original Fate Stay Night anime, which I've previously reviewed, link will be in the show notes, uh, adapted the Fate route, with the inclusion of a few elements from the Unlimited Blade Works route with varying degrees of success. Now, after UFO Tables, successful adaptation of Gen Urobuchi's novel Fate Zero, which I've also previously reviewed, and link will also be in the show notes and in the cards on that side over there. Um, there was a question of what it would look like if there would, they were to adapt one of the routes of the game, and in particular the Unlimited Blade Works route in its entirety, as it was one of the most popular routes of the game. Well, a few, a few years ago, in 2015, we got that adaptation. As with the original series, the show follows Emiya Shiro, or Shiro Emiya, Rin Tosaka, and Saber, aka Artria Pendragon, as they navigate the Fifth Holy Grail War and in the process deal with the aftermath of the Fourth Holy Grail War, as seen in Fate Zero. The route shifts itself by moving the narrative focus from just Shiro and Saber, and Saber's background, to putting equal weight on Rin as a dual protagonist along with Shiro. With that, instead of focusing on Saber's backstory, we instead focus on Archer's backstory as a heroic spirit and his connection to Shiro. In addition, because Ufo Table adapted Fate Zero, and because Fate Zero came out after Dean's adaptation of the Fate Route, and by came out I mean the novel, not the animated series, though the animated series obviously came out after the novel, the series takes the opportunity to go into the particulars of the previous Grail War and how it affects the participants of this one in a way that the Dean series couldn't. Character dialogue and motivations get a touch-up because of this, some cases through new sequences or scenes in certain environments, and others because of little reaction shots and that sort of thing that were not present in the previous series. UFO Table's animation fits with their usual high points, such that when they ran into financial issues and consequently we had some quality hits towards the third quarter of the series, I really didn't notice. The writing and animation also gives some of the characters who are more background characters life that they would not have received otherwise. In particular, the character of Sakura, who in the Dean version seemed like your standard wallflower, has much more energy to her while still keeping her traits as something of a semi-Yamato Nadeshko. That said, some of the comedic elements of the Dean series are more downplayed. As an example, there's a scene in the Dean anime where Shiro and Rin are fighting at school. This is a sequence that is taken from Unlimited Blade Works. In this sequence, Shiro runs down a flight of stairs and Rin leaps down in pursuit. In the Dean version, Shiro nearly wipes out, and as Rin leaps after him, he points out that she needs to be careful because of her skirt. Rin panics and checks her skirt on her descent, ultimately nearly wiping out herself and leading to her having a strong tsundere reaction as she continues in continues her pursuit. In this series, the entire chase is played completely straight. Unfortunately, as with Fate Zero, Unlimited Blade Works got a US DVD release and DVD and Blu-ray release by Anaplex, which means the show is going to cost you an arm and a leg, with the DVD release as of this recording costing you s approaching around 80 bucks each for each half of the show on right stuff, which is still considerably cheaper than it would cost to buy it from Amazon. Fortunately, if you'd like to know if you like it enough to spend that much cash, it is currently available for streaming through Crunchyroll and Netflix as of this recording. However, all the caveats that go with that apply. There is the possibility that by the time you're watching this video, it may no longer be available for streaming. So keep that under consideration.
thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like this video and subscribe to the channel to be notified when new videos come out. If there's something in particular you'd like to see me cover or just want to get your name in the credits or otherwise help the show, please support my Patreon. Once again, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.